Peggy 3. So another new feature we have this year is called My Team. Uh, this is a feature where you kind of build a team based on purchasing players. You can go to the store and purchase packs, booster packs of players, and you're basically just trying to build the best team you can. But we're not limiting you to just NBA players this year. You can actually go out and get classic players uh, in the booster packs as well. We're going to be dynamically releasing new packs all throughout the season. Uh, these packs are going to give you, you know, different chances of getting players in there. You might be able to only get a player on a certain day during the year. So the best way to find out what's going on is to jump in, log in every day, check the store and see what's available. So what this mode is all about is, like I said, it's building your team, but there's a goal to it. You're not just building a team and playing against the CPU or playing against friends online. What you're doing is you're playing in a mode inside this experience called Road to the Playoffs. Road to the Playoffs is a mode where you start off outside of the playoffs and you're given a set number of games. You have 12 games and within those 12 games all you have to do is win three and if you can do that you move up to the eight seed. And once you move up you start getting rewards. We start giving you free players, we start giving you free virtual currency, we start giving you, you know, free booster packs. And the whole goal of this mode is to rise all the way up to the one seed. And that's done by you know, winning a specific number of games uh, within each seed that you're in. And so while Road to the Playoffs is an online-only uh, experience, we do have offline games that you can play with your My Team as well. Uh, these are called exhibition games. In exhibition games, you don't have to pay a salary to play these games against the CPU. You can actually choose to play against a bronze-level CPU team, a silver-level CPU team, or a gold. And obviously the tiering in those is, you know, gold is the toughest team to beat, but they offer you the biggest reward. Uh, so basically you're playing these exhibition games offline just to build up your, your VC balance. And with that VC balance, within the scope of my team mode, you can go to the market and buy players. Uh, you can go buy booster packs to enhance your collection. And you can also pay the salary of your players when you're playing in the road to the playoffs mode. Every player in this mode has you know, a salary that you have to pay. Um, a bronze tier guy, a very low rated player, he's going to be almost free to play with. It becomes really expensive to, to pay these guys in a game. So it's not just get the 12 best players in the league, put them on your team because that's going to be something that's really not sustainable on a game-to-game -game basis just because the, the VC cost to play is very expensive. And one of the reasons we made this change was to keep the teams real online. You know, you don't want to see the Kobe, LeBron, Dwight Howard, Dwayne Wade team every time you play a game. This is going to really create a lot of variety in there and cause people to, you know, strategize on how they build their teams and how they choose to play with them each and every game. So another feature within the My Team mode is our, is our market, is our player market. This is a place where you can directly go and purchase players if you're not getting the success rate you want from the packs. Um, the way the packs are designed is they mostly just give you, you know, accessories to your team. Uh, you're going to be pulling head coaches out of there, you're going to be pulling different uniforms that your team can wear, different court floors that you can play on as your home court. But on occasion you're going to get an NBA player and also a legend player in there. Uh, so if you're not feeling lucky with those, you can go directly to the market and purchase the players that you want. Uh, if you want to buy Kobe Bryant, it's going to cost you a lot of VC. You know, you're probably looking at 20 plus hours of gameplay just to buy a gold tier player. And one really, really cool aspect of the market this year is, is you know, the players are not fixed prices. Their values are going to fluctuate based on how they play during the NBA season. So every single day when you boot up our game during the season, those players are going to, those prices are going to fluctuate. And it's directly based on their schedule, how they're playing, and just a general overall feel of what the player is doing in the league right now. And it's, it's, it kind of creates a stock market effect where you can kind of you know, play the market and like guess who's going to rise in price, who's going to drop, who, who is just on a hot streak but is about to tail off. So the mode itself is going to you know, update all, all season based on the real NBA. And that's something that's really cool. It'll really keep it fresh. It'll really keep people's teams you know, constantly changing. And for someone who maybe isn't great on the sticks, they can build a great team just by playing the market and buying and selling players. So there's kind of a, a, you know, a game within a game there. Some other types of items that you can get from the booster packs are, you know, you can get signature skill cards for your players. And these are, you know, like we've talked about, about how the NBA players have these signature skills. Within these packs, you can get, you know, the spot up shooter signature skill card or the corner specialist. And you can take these and apply them to your players to make them, you know, truly unique from everyone else's player. So uh, your version of, you know, Dwight Howard can have you know, these three signature skills on them, and your friends might have these three, making them totally different players. So it really gives you more ways than ever to build your team, uh, different from even someone who might have the exact same team, if that's even possible. But you can get these uh, one-game attribute boosts from the packs as well. Uh, and it's really, there's a lot of a strategy in this. It's you, you save up all of your boosts and kind of use them the next time you play. That really key game that'll jump you up to the next seed and road to the playoffs. My team itself has been a very 
expansive mode. You know, we kind of set out to be this, this uh, you know, building a building a team mode, and it grew so much more with the addition of the market, the road to the playoffs, the exhibition games. You know, it became a, a beast, you know, in, in itself, which is something we're really proud of.